Hello friends, Radhika Ravikuma here. Welcome back to my tutorial. So we will finally, you know, end this video uh, by discussing the V arrays. So we have already seen what is associative arrays, nested tables, and now let us discuss about V arrays. Okay, it's very very similar to our uh, these uh, nested tables. So let me just. These are V arrays. So the first point is uh, so first one is um, these are bounded. V arrays are bounded. Okay. Just let me delete it. Let me not confuse. So V arrays are nothing but are bounded, and the max limit is the one to the power one to two. 2, 2 to the power of uh, 32 okay then third point is um, it can't take uh, negative subscripts then the fourth point is it can be stored in um, DB that means it is uh, reusable right and uh, Sixth point is uh, can be created at um, SQL level. Then the seventh point is um, um, extend is required. That is, we can use we should use the extend method for you know adding of uh, just a second. Okay, so extend is uh, required. Then um, Obviously, it doesn't throw that uh, no data found error. Error is not thrown. Okay, and the ninth point is initialization is required. Okay. Okay, so and um, it is always dense in nature so that is the tenth point and what else yeah so that's it about the v arrays so you guys have got a very good um, points that you can talk about about the collection types so in the next tutorial I will be creating a program and we will see how we can make use of these um, what nested tables v arrays and associative arrays okay so thank you very much for watching and keep supporting my videos and if there are any queries then please do mail me to plsql.informatica at gmail.com thank you very much mm -hmm.